Well, it is day one of our attempt to find a demo a day in Egypt, and we just stumbled across this one now outside the Arab League building. And what these people are protesting is the beginning of the Euro Under-21 Football Championship in Israel. They feel very upset. They don't feel that it should be held in a country where they consider human rights abuses take place. There are several people here, I would say around uh, a dozen in total. But as you can see from just behind me, there are actually more press, more cameras, more reporters at this demonstration than there are protesters. Well, this is another small protest, but one that's very high profile. It's outside one of the country's main courts. And on the poster over there is a picture of the Egyptian activist Ahmed Douma. And what these people are calling for is his release. He's been imprisoned for insulting the president. He went onto a TV show and he called the president a criminal and said President Morsi was a murderer who hadn't been held accountable for his crimes. And there are many protests like this calling for freedom of expression. But of course, protests like this that are critical of the authorities simply wouldn't have been tolerated before the revolution. Well, it is a Friday, which is, of course, one of the big days for protests after Friday prayers. This is one of the hot spots in Cairo for protests. You can see the mosque there, one of the main mosques, and all the people gathered below in their green caps. In this case, it's a protest in solidarity with the Palestinians. It's an Islamist protest. You can see these people marching down over here. But you can also see the impact it has on Cairo if we keep moving around. You can see all the traffic here is totally clogged up, and this happens every time there's a big protest like this. And it is one of the reasons those who are not taking part get upset about protests like this. Well, protests in this country are not just about violence and stone throwing and tear gas, far from it. This is one of the more genteel protests that we've been to, but it is an issue that people feel very passionately about. We're just outside the Ministry of Culture, and here are actors and actresses, uh, writers, intellectuals, and they've been protesting against the changes that they've seen in the Ministry of Culture under the Muslim Brotherhood. But really what events like these show is that that revolution a couple of years ago has given Egyptians from all walks of life the ability, the freedom to demonstrate like this in a way they simply couldn't have before.